Yeah. I'm not trying to do so. Let me maybe other time. Yeah, um, my name is Anthony. I'm a journalist and into events management. Um, I've got two quick questions actually. First of all, I want to bring us back to sports journalism. I mean, sports um, tourism and the impact it has on travel. What role is golf tourism going to play in the whole mix? And then the second question is um, talking about the destinations of you know, tourists as regards travel in the future. Africa as a continent is conspicuously missing. What would you say the continent is playing on and what could you know, be changed around to make it a spot? That is a Questions. We're going to have to be brief with them because we're almost out of time. So, question number one: uh, When we talk sports stories, and how important is golf? Come on, that um, we very recently in UK managed a delegation to Colombia. Um, very very new and emerging market, and we talked about the impact of golf on their economy in the world. Um, and one of the biggest interests there was in terms of golf tourism. Um, and uh, obviously in Scotland, that's a, a big part of the, of, of the offer. So huge, huge importance there. In terms of Africa, I think uh, it was interesting in Colombia, there's a country that really is trying very hard to change a worldwide image of um, it is a holiday destination and working very hard to do that. Um, certainly, I think there was no substitute for taking our tour operators <coughs> in there and seeing the product on offer, the opportunities, and working very closely with the airlines in terms of how, how quick it was, how, um, how much that was a country on the, on the up. Um, we had a lot of support as well from the embassy there who did a trade mission. And I would say that working with, through the embassies of various countries around the world and supporting both trade and investment in, in partnership with uh, tourism is really key. Certainly one of the things that the Drake campaign did was bring um, trade and investment, education and tourism under one umbrella because of the way so many of us, the way we do business, we travel, we we educate our children, we, we think about all these things all together and I think there's probably a lot that other countries can learn around you know, harnessing those three strands uh, behind your tourism efforts is, you know, to not see these things in isolation. All right, thank you. Uh, Johnny, what's this been Yeah, just quickly, I think a number of African governments have got to take a different approach to the aviation sector. We heard about the importance of air travel. There's some good airlines in Africa like Ethiopia and Kenya, but the regulatory environment in terms of allowing competition and developing new air services is very restrictive. And I think that is a big impediment to developing more tourism. So that is a really important change. Okay.